Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to go through some windowing command settings which allow you to change the behavior of your window commands in AutoArchy, which are going to be set title bench mode, set wind delay, detect hidden windows, and detect hidden text. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So let's get started with the set title match mode. Set title match mode basically changes the matching behavior and controls how a partial and complete title is compared against all the windows that exist on your PC. For set title match mode, you have several options. You've got one, two, three, which I'm going to explain in a bit, and regex to allow for regex pattern to match the window and fast and slow, which pertain to win text. Now, starting with the option one, option one is default, so it is as good as just not having it in the script as well. But if you decide to put that in, what this is going to do is it's going to make the window title match that start with the specified win title. So, for example, if I go ahead and open up a notepad like that, this notepad is going to have a title of untitled dash notepad. And if I just provide in my win title, untitled that is still going to find that window and that's because untitled starts as the beginning of the title of the window untitled dash notepad number two is how uh, you can have the word untitled or i can ch actually change it to say a dash i'm going to change it to a dash and an n and that means this string can appear in any place inside uh, the window title that you're trying to match and therefore because I have the dash space and here set title match mode of two which allows you uh, the win title to be inside anywhere uh, to be able to find that and therefore it's able to find this notepad window and display out the window title like that so you can consider this to be uh, some sort of a partial match number three is going to be an exact match exact match means basically you have to provide the name of the window or window title that exactly matches the notepad so for example if i type something out here because this is not a saved notepad i'm going to get a star sign or asterisk in front of the win title and therefore when i run this it's not going to find the match because i need to put that asterisk in front of the untitled dash notepad in order to be able to find that window regex regex is a, a topic that i covered extensively in my series of regex tutorials so if you don't know how to use regex you can go watch them um, so set title match mode of regex allows for matching of windows title using regex patterns so here's a simple example and i'm going to try and match this one as well so i don't even actually have to provide a star sign in front because this is regex and wherever there is an untitled word and followed by a dot which represents any character and plus which make the previous pattern to at least appear once or repeat more than once and then that is followed by notepad then it's going to be a match and therefore when i do this i'm going to be able to match the notepad title like that um, using regex you are also able to make the the match case insensitive for all of these one two three the case insensitivity uh switched on and therefore you're not going to be able to match that if you say for example i'm gonna just entirely comment this out and remove this bit and write out untitled dash notepad with the n the letter n being small letter n this is not going to even though if i move this and match uh the title of the of the window to the win title that i provide this is not going to be able to just change this to bring get title output bar message box output bar this is not going to be able to find that and that's because i need to change this to capital letter n and in which case it's going to find that so if i change this to the small letter n however if i change the set title match mode to regex then this is this is not going to work because uh, i have to provide the option prefix to make this match case insensitive and therefore i can match that now so if you have a for example uh windows like 
these ones in their titles so i have them created like here so i'm just gonna open these up it's gonna let me open it uh, open in the background and then the last one so when you have windows like this where you have um titles following a certain pattern we can use the regex title match mode and use the winget command to get the list of all the windows and their ids using the regex pattern match and i'm going to loop through to get the win title of each of these windows so if i go ahead and run it then it's going to match the windows i believe this one must be this one right here if I press ok then it's gonna move on to the next one and then the next one after that so even if you have window titles that vary um, according to a certain rule if you use a regex pattern then you're going to be able to find that you can also use regex pattern for autoarchy class or, or executable um, .exe which represents the process um, and if I bring up my Windows Spy, as I explained in my previous video, Visual Studio Code is based off of Chrome, and that's why you're going to have the class name of Chrome underscore widget win for Visual Studio Code. And so, uh, if you you would normally, if you're not using the regex match mode, then you would normally just copy that and paste that into here in order to, you know identify the window that you want to going by the class name but if you use the regex mode then you can provide a regex pattern in this manner and this is going to identify or match chrome underscore widget win underscore one as well so if i go ahead and run this it's going to grab the win get title the title of the window and display in a message box like that uh, like i said fast and slow are uh, for win text and if you want uh, the explanation on what's the difference between fast and slow you can go to this URL that you see here but I'll just quickly explain to you what fast and slow do so win text uh, for let me just show you the syntax of win get title and win text appears usually after the win title parameter like that and what I've got right here is I'm bringing up a notepad. I'm going to put that put that string inside the notepad, and I'm going to try and identify this window by looking at the win text that exists in that window. Now, without any mode setup, which is going to set the title match mode for win text to fast, we're not going to be able to find that window. So if I run this, I'm gonna get a blank message box and if i set the title match mode to fast which is the default so i'm going to get the same result however if i change this to slow it is going to be able to find the window like that slow means you are going to look at uh, edit controls inside windows as well as opposed to fast which doesn't look at the edit control if you're not be able to check the scripts title match mode as it is then you can use these variables a underscore title match mode displays either one of one, two, three, or regex. And A underscore title match mode speed is going to give you either one of fast or slow. So if I change the first one to set title match mode to regex, for example, that's going to change the first result to regex and then the one after fast still. Um, set win delay. Set win delay is to do with how there is a delay after each window win command that you can adjust. So normally there is a default delay of 100 milliseconds. So if I bring up my notepad window and run this script, what this script is going to do is it's going to reposition this window and then move it slowly down bit by bit diagonally like that. So if I go ahead and run it, then it's just going to do that. And you can see how it's slightly slow it moves down a little bit slowly so if i set the wind delay to negative one which means i want to basically remove all the delays that occur after each window in command this is gonna go faster as you can see now i can set this to 500 for example and that's gonna give it a delay of half a second each time i move this window bit by bit 
and uh, detect hidden windows and detect hidden text. Let me just get out of this first. And these ref refer to how you could have a window that's hidden, that's hidden from your taskbar, that's hidden from your screen and be able to detect it or not. So if you, by default, it will be set to off. And therefore, when I run this script, which will open up Notepad and after two seconds, it will hide that. And two seconds after you hide that or try to get the win title of the notepad, but you won't be able to find that because the window is hidden and your detect hidden windows option is turned off. And so that message box is going to show us nothing. So we've got notepad open like that, it gets hidden. And two seconds later, I get a message box that is blank. And then when I press OK, it's going to show that window again like that. So it will bring up from hidden status. But if I change this to on, and run it i'm going to get a different result in the message box i'm going to be able to get the win title of the message box which didn't work for whatever reason and that is because i have accidentally put in a number five here let me just go ahead and run it again still not getting anything uh which is interesting because it's not supposed to be the way it is Auto hockey notepad. Ah, because I've put that inside the win text parameter instead of win title. Apologies for this. And then now I can get the title of the notepad like that. So I'll get that fixed up when I upload this onto my website. And uh, in terms of the detect hidden window, I, I detect hidden text. I don't have any examples. Um, but basically, I think how it works is if you say, for example, in this window spy window, if this control or element is hidden from view and you try to match uh, the win text by using any of the values inside this element, then when you have the detect hidden text option turned off, it's not going to be able to find that. Whereas if you have it turned on, then it is going to find that. I think that's how it works, but I don't have an example to show you, unfortunately. This is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.